a look at the three cities hit. Smithville is about 30 minutes north of the metro, right along 169 Highway and I-29. And 41 Action News reporter Ariel Rothfield is there live. Ariel, what are you seeing? Well, Rian, in the Diamond Crest neighborhood was hit the hardest in Smithville. The destruction widespread. We're actually standing in the middle of a home that was affected by last night's storm. And this is pretty much what's left. It actually looks much better, believe it or not, than what it looked like yesterday. You can see the front of it. The home is completely gone. I'm told a 70 year old couple lived in this home. Their daughter tells me they were staying down these stairs in the basement. The time the storm hit, the daughter tells me they almost didn't make it down in time, but when they got up, they realized they had no roof above their heads. Earlier today, their daughter led us inside to survey the damage and take a look. It almost looks like a scene out of a movie. The roof is gone. The windows are shattered. Furniture moved everywhere. Most of their items unsalvageable. They lost it, almost everything. I'm sorry. It, sisters and brothers are coming down and we're just trying to to get what we can get for them so they don't have to rebuy. When you go inside, it actually looks smaller now. I mean, <laughs> usually the house looks big in there, but it looks smaller in there now from all the damage. The National Weather Service estimates last night's storm, which caused all of this damage, was an F2 with winds reaching up to 132 miles an hour. Now, what's ironic is that this uh, Thing for bills, letters, and miscellaneous documents remain, but the roof is no longer here or the front door. I'm told cleanup here will continue the next coming days and the following weeks. We are live in Smithville, Ariel Rothfield, 41 Action News.